I openly said it's an experimental project, okay? People bought it. <clears throat> the liquidity was not that great. I believe even on 100 million, it was, I think, 100 million more market cap. It was like around 1 mil, 2 mil, or maximum 3 mil, which is like 3% of the total market cap, you know? One of the reasons why these things pump really fast and then dump really fast, you know? So uh, if he started a new project, I don't know. I mean, he's not asking you to buy right he's not coming and you know taking your phone and marking buying tokens and stuff i don't understand people fomo in things and then later they start blaming them why you're blaming them i mean start taking like i always say start taking responsibility of your actions you know that's the only way to learn if you will put it start putting blames on others Trust me, there is no room for growth. There is no room for improvement. And you were broke, you will stay broke. And there is no chance that, you know, you'll be doing anything good in the future as well. With the planet and everything, you know, if they execute things the way they are, you know, trying to execute, okay, if it, it gets a perfect execution, we will have a whole other level and a, a whole new definition of meme coins, okay? Because sometimes a project is launched as a meme coin, you know, and then they remove the wheel and then it's just a complete serious project with some serious big names in the industry and, you know, it takes everything by storm, you know? And it's not something pretty huge. I mean, their goat is not on Twitter. Imagine if that goat just comes on Twitter because from what I understood the person or the people they are trying to target, they're not on Twitter yet. As soon as that is validated, the FOMO will be so high that, you know, you will be like, why this thing is not dumping? Why are we not getting any dips and stuff? Even the exchanges are skeptical about it because it, it has never been tried before, you know? So, and, uh, so we'll let's wait for a couple of more days, okay? Much, much better than any other option right now. In my personal opinion, uh, and rather I'll rather like put more of my underwater bags. I mean, some of them which I I kind of lost hope into. Maybe I'll I'll even buy more planet, and uh, that's the giveaway I'm doing pretty soon for hundred, two hundred thousand dollars worth of planet tokens for people who are actually holders. You know, people who likes to hold and stuff. I mean, I want them to be part of the success as well. You know. It's just that. I don't want to like, you know, airdrop tokens to people who are just there and they will be giving my money to Binance. You know, if they were like, I'll give you tokens. If you hold, you make money, fucking spend it on yourself. Spend it on your family. Don't give it, don't put it in CZ's pocket. You know, I like the guy, but he's a businessman. You know, you cannot just say that, you know what? I love carry for, I love all the, I mean, yeah, they are providing you things, but that's a business. They're going to make money as well. You know, and uh, usually this is how the industry works. So, yeah, keep this thing in mind. Probably today or tomorrow I'll announce that giveaway only for some serious holders, only from people who got wrecked. You know, I'll probably choose maybe 50, 100, 200 people. And uh, let's just not say 100K. Let's just say $200,000 worth of planet tokens I'll be giving away. So stay, stay tuned for that. Moving towards the next person, Mr. Abraham, you go ahead, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, um, you know, it's a lot of deep going on currently in the crypto space. Okay, that is obvious, evident. So, uh, um, and, and yeah, people have been making a lot of money from the um, cryptos. Um, and my eyes have been on uh, a coin called Popsicle Finance. I don't know if you know that one. Okay, bro, p please, can you just sit in a room with the mic where we can be clear? See, my voice is coming like I'm sitting right next to you, talking to you, feeling you guys. Not in the other way, but like, you know, on a communication level. I should be able to feel you in a good way. And that's when, that's how we should talk. You know, that kind of, never mind. Anyways, uh, do you need to know? That's a fucking good name, brother. You go ahead, sir. Is he getting fucked or what? Why he is 
you know, breathing that fast. <laughs> like, are you like, bro, get paid for that level of torture, you know, and buy some dips. Trust me, you know, don't just get smashed that hard and get nothing in return. Okay. Like, yeah. Hulubu. That's a nice name. You go ahead, sir. Hulu Bull is like, bro, shut the fuck up. I'm not talking. Anyways, last bunch of people I'm going to accept, boys. After that, I'm going, you know, the, the prayer time. You see, after all this, I'm like praying five times, you know. I don't know when the life going to end. You know, when I go up, I don't want God to like, you know what, you know, torture me or something. So I'd probably just uh, I don't... be good. Anyways. Yeah, Mr. Tulasara. Yes, sir, you go ahead. Do you hold any self coins? Huh? Do you hold any self coins? Self any self coins? Self crypto. Yeah, w what about it? Uh, you said uh, something which uh, came to 2 million cap and fall, fall to 700 bit cap. They, they were not well, everything is falling I mean, everything is falling I mean, these tokens are not like you know all these tokens they provide liquidity in some sort of pair like for example on BNB chain you need to provide liquidity in the BNB pair on on etherscan or uniswap you need to provide liquidity with ethereum so if these underlying assets are dumping even if no one is selling the tokens your dollar value will decrease that's called liquidity, and that's that's painful, but that's part of the game. Even if your token is good, but if your underlying asset is going down, you cannot do nothing about it. You know, if if that's the case, maybe ask your uh, developers to provide liquidity in stables like BUSD or USDT if you want more of a stable approach. Anyways, who is next, Mr. Sohail Khan? Hello, Assalamualaikum, both. Like some, uh, well, I'm uh, actually new to this crypto market, like a amount. Now, looking at the market and uh, the next two years, I just need a suggestion from you that uh, is it a good time to invest a little more amount in the, into the crypto and uh, what all coins I should go for for a longer term? For the longer term, bro, anything which is I mean I personally prefer Binance Launchpad tokens because uh, usually they have very good supply of these tokens. I'm not going to mention utilities or whatever, but when Binance do the Launchpad, majority of the tokens they hold. And you know, in the future, there's high probability that these tokens will pump. And the timing of the market, obviously, you know, everything is down, 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 and today it's like 20, 20 percent down. You know, a rebound will definitely happen, and you will. I mean, whatever you put today will definitely be at least above 20%, 30% in the next two, three days, you know. Even if you want to call it a dead cat bounce. And today, if you go try to buy USDT, the rates will be pretty high of USDT itself because even the sellers of stables, they know that you'll be making money instantly. So, yeah, good luck. Thank it's, you. It's a good time. not going to say it's bad. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, brother. All right. Who is next? Um... Adi Adi Bio Tosin Emmanuel. I don't know how to pronounce your name, brother. Forgive me for that. But if you don't want to talk, Finn Fanatic AJ. AJ. Hey, hi, Bull. Hi. Uh, hope Hello. you're doing well. Yes, I'm doing pretty good, bro. Thanks for asking. Yeah, uh, Bull. So, uh, a quick question. So, with all the shit which is going on, right? Uh, SEC, Coinbase, uh, Binance. So when the dust uh, settles down, right, uh, what do you think, what will be the main driver of the next bull run? What, what, what will be the theme, especially with the things moving in Asia and uh, Hong Kong? What do you think? See, like, like I said, the point is not like the dust will settle or what will happen. The point is uh, how many tokens Americans will be able to accumulate, how many tokens the, the China pool will be able to accumulate. And whoever have the more more supply of any X Y D Z tokens, they will start pumping. You know, regardless. So it's just that, you know. And uh, like I said, they want to revive FTX. 
and they want to you know at least snatch some sort of market share from because everything is chinese right now i mean don't you get surprised binance you know let's say china okay okx china mexe china hubi china ploniex china bitget china there's no market coinbase also moving away from us so they got nothing so they need ftx 2.0 badly and to bring ftx 2.0 badly they need to like you know put dirt on all these other exchanges you know so at least they have some sort of market share so it's just that so even the dust settles everything is up only brother everything is up only okay thanks bull thank you take care you're welcome brother ushi you go ahead uh hello good morning bull uh first of nothing i would like to say that i'm very happy very grateful that everything went good for you after that crash i wish you a speedy recovery uh the first thing talking about crypto i would like to ask to you is about the fact that right now it's very hard to find tokens good tokens with low caps because most of the companies who develop these tokens are uh, receive a lot of money from uh you know from venture capital funds so once they get their token out or they do an airdrop i mean it's a, they're already millionaires because they are ready to receive a lot of money and the second thing i would like to discuss with you to ask about uh, about it is about this project that's getting a lot of attention that's called ck sync i don't want to talk about the token or the mainnet but about the airdrop I would like to know if you can please provide some advice. Well, I would like to know if you're farming the airdrop and if you're doing it, if you can provide some advice for us to to be there. Too. Which project? Which project? What's the name of that? CK Sync, that's a zero knowledge thing. Oh, ZK Sync. Yes. And about the thing that I say to you that uh it's really hard to find good tokens right now because I mean, a, a low cap because these companies start like working on their test net or main net just like ck sync once they release the token they're already millionaires you know it's not like bitcoin that start like basically nothing and they did great i mean it's quite different but well, we <clears throat> i don't have much information on zk sync but i've heard that's pretty good it falls in the same category of arbitrum right and uh, a lot of uh, shit coins want to go there as well just to do, like you know uh, catch up on that if you want to talk about tokens like that i'm more bullish on syscoin rollups you know i'm not going to i'm not going to say guys go ahead buy that thing but look at the rollups okay they're pretty serious i mean if we ever want to talk about a coin you know which is pretty good i mean it's that coin because they're in the market since 2014 and their roll ups which is like a layer 2 solution you know which is going to be super fast low gas fees and everything and the foundation like you know is trying their level best you know otherwise something which is there since 2014 it's more like 9 years you know i think it's their time for the glory so one of the coins i mean if you're talking about the zk sync and arbitrum type of tokens that is the coin I'm more bullish on. I don't talk about it much because people don't like to know about what's happening in the background. They just want to they judge projects by the green candles, you know. But if you are looking at ZK Sync and all that, I will definitely highly recommend you to check Cisco and Rollups, which are coming I think on 28th of June. So, yeah, this is the thing. Anyways, should do Shudu okay, Said, you go ahead. Assalamu alaikum, Bull. Wa alaikum salam, brother. How are you, Bull? I'm good. What about Mount Coin? Where will it go pump? I lost many money. Me too. I lost too many. It's going down. I could have sold, couldn't sell. You know, one of the reasons why I was screwed up, like. is because i'm underwater deep underwater 90% down what to do bro cannot do nothing it cannot stop people from selling you know hard very hard you know what to do what to do what can i do i mean kill bit lord or what 
<laughs> I, mean, I don't know how to answer these kind of questions, guys. Literally. If it's going down, it's going down. Well, why you didn't ask that question when it was pumping? Why it's pumping? Nobody asked that question. People were like, fuck, it's going to billion. Billion X or whatever. When it dumps, like, oh, okay, why it's going down? Just the way things goes up, same way the things comes down as well. These are called cycles, you know. Same people who pump it, they bring it down as well. People, you know, people sometimes panic sell. People sometimes, I mean, sometimes exchanges, they manipulate as well. But that's part of the game, sir. That's part of the game. Anyways, DJ Boss, you go ahead, sir. Hello, thank you, sir. Uh, I have a quick question regarding Planet Token. Uh, I've aped into that token, and now I'm doing research uh, uh, to make sure it's a good token, and, which is a silly thing to do. You should research that token, then buy it, but uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, so I, uh, during my research, I came across this uh, token, this dead token from last year called the Leaf Tea Token, and which, uh, looking into it, it was doing very similar things as Planet. Like it, it was a green project, and it was uh, where they used transactions tax to pay for like charities and environmental causes, and they also had Lionel Messi promote the token, and then it died. Uh, I just want to know if there was any relations to Plan- Planet Token in this uh, token that died last year. Thank you. No, no, I don't I don't think so. I think first, I loved what you did. You bought and you did the research, okay? Sometimes when you don't buy and you do the research, you don't take things too seriously, okay? You're like, oh, fuck this, it's nonsense. When you buy a token, when your interest is on the line, then you do the good research, okay? Then it's, you take things seriously, Okay, uh, relationship to that previous token, I, I don't even know what what's the what's the name you took, but there's no connection. That's I'm hundred percent sure. This one, it's like things are ready, you know. Like just say that you know the food is cooked, it's just gonna be served. Okay. Usually, what happens is like you invite, like you know, I'm gonna give you an analogy. Usually, with the meme coins, what happens is that you just open a restaurant. Okay. There are no tables, no chairs, and you're like, you know what? It's brand new. Everything will be serving very good food. We don't know what exactly what kind of food we'll serve, but it's a restaurant. So everybody just who is hungry, they comes in, you know, stock, stock, stock. You know, that's like the restaurant is full. Then you see the chef. A chef motherfucker don't even have, you know, things to cook even, you know. No meat or vegetables or whatever, Okay. No, actually, no equipment where they are actually going to cook you food or something. And when you are there, you know, you're like, damn, outside you have mentioned restaurant. Here you don't even have tools to cook something. And then people start leaving, 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 leaving. And that's what happens. And then the people who are, who comes first, you know, they know the things, okay, nothing's going to happen. So they leave early. Okay. And the last people slowly, slowly, you know, because they are not seeing that, you know, the chef have nothing, you know, by the time the last person comes, sees the chef is a broke mofo, you know, he was just taking money to get you inside, you know, he's like, I'm take, I'm going to take your money, I'm going to buy equipment and then I'm going to buy food. I'm then, then I'm going to cook food, you know, and then by the time they realize it, they are just leaving already. Okay. So, but it's completely opposite in the planet case. All right. So their food is ready. Everything is ready. It just needs to be served. They have tables. They have every single thing. You know, some people who entered inside, they know this. Some people are sitting, standing outside because let's say it's in, it's on the same street where all these other scam restaurants were there. So people who just came out from other scam restaurants, they are being skeptical about this one, you know. But as soon as they're going to see that people are, you know, eating good, there's nice food, well garnished and everything, they'll be jumping in as well. This is the best example, I swear to God. I, I, I love the way I think, you know, very good analogy. I don't know if you liked it or not, but I personally liked it while I was giving it. And I just thought it, trust me, it's not like a written script or something. But yeah. Did you like it? Tell me at least. Say yes. Yes, I liked it very much. Even if you didn't like it, just tell me. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome, brother. Now, okay, should you go ahead, brother? Yeah. Hi, Bull. Uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity and hoping for your speedy recovery. 
my only question is as we are seeing that the sec is filing for the lawsuits against binance and coinbase so we should not forget that there is an already an ongoing lawsuit which is going against the srp xrp and i think it's uh, lasting for more than 3 years now mm-hmm. and the outcome of that is expecting is expected to be sooner than later so what do you think uh, whatever would be the verdict of the xrp uh, would it be having an uh, pronounced impact on the entire crypto industry and uh, would it be taken as a reference for all the other existing lawsuits that are going on and what would be the potential outcome of that xrp one also your take on see what's happening right now is okay like they didn't win okay like for three years they are just like prolonging it prolonging it i think americans should uh let xrp win but at the same time if xrp will win you know like every people will not take them seriously i think that's why it's prolonging but it's in their best interest to let xrp win because that's an american company first of all plus the team holds more than 80% of tokens you know and uh they they can put the bets on that the the community is there they can easily trigger the fomo and everything but you know it like xrp is like a pill if they swallow it that's a problem if they spit it out that's a problem too that's why they are prolonging it because if xrp loses to it i mean wins i mean nobody will take sec seriously and if they lose uh then america going to miss out the chance on you know capitalizing because xrp is first of all and we cannot deny the fact that's in top 10 list second of all the tokens are with the team i mean it can be very beneficial for the american economy if they start pumping it you know people will like stop buying because they really don't care what's the supply because people don't understand these days much about the market especially the normies you know with the market cap and everything they see something which is like $1 less than $1 sitting on top 10 where they see the number one coin is sitting on like uh 25000 number second coin is sitting at uh, 1800 number third coin usdt ignore that bnb is sitting on 240 so they expect similar sort of pump on these kind of coins so if i was an american what i will do is uh, if i was sec i would let xrp win collaborate with them pump that token up yeah then i mean I, i'll be i'll be making money too and the chinese will be making money too but if i you know try to win from them make them lose just so that we i can screw chinese then that's not happening because they already have a lot of btcs because me as sec i dumped and nobody cared they bought the tokens so it's a little game of chess let's see what they come up to but if i was the head of sec i would have let xrp win you know and then that would be considered as the win win for the crypto market we will see a fomo coming in So yeah, but that's just me, you know, and I'm not SEC. I don't know what they're going to do. So yeah. yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's been 3 years, so I think the the verdict is expected uh, to come soon. So let's see. It would be really very interesting to see what happens. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah, the boys, it's uh, enough talk for today. Let's do a Twitter space tomorrow, all right? Uh I'm tired a little. That's prayer time as well. So tomorrow we'll do another space we'll, we'll start discussing things and probably we'll use more analogies to explain you things better till then stay safe love you all and I'm sorry if there was something offensive I'm sorry if there was something stupid or annoying or whatever so yeah take care love you all big love big green heart let me send it like five ten times i love you guys period take care